A South Bay plastic surgeon and a nurse who were responsible for a botched plastic surgery that killed a patient are behind bars. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And Team 10 has been following this story from the beginning and the criminal charges the two faced were a result of our reporting. Investigative reporter Austin Grabis shows us the tough words the victim's family had for the nurse and the doctor. Our lives have a massive gaping wound without her Megan in it. Megan Espinoza was a mother of two. Her life cut short at Divino Plastic Surgery in Bonita. That man and his nurse, who are responsible for callously ending Megan's life, have given her the death penalty. Espinoza's and family and friends begging a judge Friday to give the maximum sentences to these two. Dr. Carlos Chacon and his nurse, Heather Lang Vass. I can't undo what happened and it haunts me daily. She trusted me with her care and I failed her. The audacity that you could provide, that you could think that you could provide anesthesia by creating a chart when you had no training in the field is mind boggling. Team 10 has been following this story from the beginning. Following our reporting, criminal charges were filed against the pair. The tragedy started in 2018 after Espinoza went to Divino for a breast augmentation surgery. She never made it out alive after Vass, a registered nurse, posed as an anesthesiologist, giving Espinoza a fatal dose of drugs, including fentanyl and ketamine. Vass has never been certified in anesthesia, and neither has Dr. Chacon. You left your struggling and dying patient multiple times. Instead of calling 911 after Espinoza's heart stopped, Chacon and Vass left the mother fighting for her life in the operating room for more than three hours. The words cannot express how deeply and truly sorry I am for my part in her untimely death. Dr. Chacon's practice is after Chacon and Vass were charged, both continued to work in medical facilities. Last year, I reported Dr. Chacon was still advertising his services on Instagram and was open for business, even after he had been charged with murder. Back in court, the judge said Vass gave sedation to patients at Divino 100 times as a dishonest side hustle. She referenced a case six months before Espinoza's surgery where she sedated a patient that Chacon was unable to wake up. She said the nurse blamed the patient's marijuana use. She'll blame someone else. In this case, the darn marijuana smoker. The judge accepted a plea deal and sentenced Chacon to three years of prison time for manslaughter. Vass was given two years for the lesser charge of involuntary manslaughter. As part of the sentencing, Dr. Chacon now has a lifetime ban that prevents him from practicing medicine in the state of California. His nurse has already surrendered her license, but she could apply to have it reinstated once she's out of prison. Austin Grabish, Team 10.